What is going on guys? It's your boy Jimmy P back again with another edition of Jimmy P's Blu-ray Finds. This should be a pretty fun episode. I got a movie right here that I have only remember watching when I was a kid. And I think the disc is loose in there so I'm pretty scared. The New Wrong Turn, which was actually really freaking good. A 90's classic and a movie that is ridiculous I hear but I've only seen the end. Let's get into it. Alright, so first up we have Evil Spawn. Uh, a movie that I've seen many times in my childhood. And these are the things that I actually remember because I haven't seen it in forever, could never find it. Was one, that chick turns into this monster. Two, there's that other chick over there. She be killing people, you know, that she seduces men, turns into this crazy monster, kills them. Anyways, that's all I remember and I remember that the monster suit is really ridiculous. Now I first uh, found out about this thing. Oh, hold on. I think the disc in here is freaking loose. So, wish me luck here. I've got to be very careful. Amazon shipped this to me with some makeup that I had ordered for an event that's going on in July I'm going to. I can just hear the disc loose in there. It's breaking my heart. And I'm wondering if I'm going to have to have Amazon replace this. But this used to be on uh, before the video dead. It was on the uh, previews for video violence. Oh, that's cool. That wasn't too loose, okay. So the only thing that was really moving around was this crazy card. That's the actress from the movie, she's super hot. So here's this card right here that tells you like the synopsis for the film, which is pretty dope. Crazy. Crazy card was a starlet there. Super excited for that. So everything seems pretty good with the disc. I'm gonna take a quick look. Oh yes, everything is beautiful. Retro Media Entertainment. I never even heard of these guys before, but uh, I saw this for order on Amazon, and I just jumped on. It. Sometimes like. You get these like rare opportunities with like the all of films and my Night of the Scarecrows, which thank God I freaking have. You can't even get that anymore. Uh, but you just jump on it when you can get it. And the price is only like $17. And it has all these new crazy features and crap like it. I can't wait to see this again. Anything that I can get from the 80s, my childhood, that uh, has these awesome practical effects, low budget uh, monster movies, I got to get my hands on them. I'm not sure how long you'll be able to get your hands on this copy and if you go to uh, Amazon right now you can get it for the low so if you're looking for a low budget uh, boobs gore type horror movie from the 80's Evil Spawn is definitely something you should check out alright so next up we got another one of those Menard specials I actually got this at the same time that I got that uh, standoff at Sparrow Creek but I was just saving this one for another video Happy birthday to me. This is like the uncut restored version in that uh, classic silver old school format. That's the old cover from the VHS tapes. Yeah, you see that right there. You can tell that this is going to be ridiculous. And funny thing about this, I've only seen the ending. And uh, the ending's freaking crazy. So I can't wait to see how that they get to that point. Had some really awesome makeup effects and stuff. Super happy that this has a super trashed slip cover there I'm not that was just thrown at the bottom of the bin I had to dig for it and it was the last copy they had oh nice look at that freaking cover that's crazy that's like some new stuff right there but then you go to the back and you get that classic scene with that dude having to eat the shish kebab and there's a lot of other crazy stuff in there so this is uh most recognized because it has very unique and innovative kills that you don't often see in horror movies these days. They really try to uh, go out of the boundaries of what you normally see in horror movies with the chopping and the knives and the chainsaws and the yitty and the yada. I mean, look at that guy. He's getting freaking shish kebab. Insane.
five dollars, how the heck could I not pick this up? I don't think it has any special features at all. This Echo Bridge Company, uh, they always be releasing this bare bones shit and the lowest of the low that they can get. Um, I'm really looking forward to watching this. Uh, I might watch it with some friends because, like I said, I heard the kills are super crazy. So if you're looking for something that you ain't seen before and you want something that's a little bit not ordinary for your typical horror, I heard Happy Birthday to me is the one to check out. Uh, if you do check it out, let me know in the comments. Or if you've seen it, let me know if I need to be checking this out or not. So I went grocery shopping this morning at my uh, local Walmart and I just happened to be browsing in the Blu-ray section and holy crap, they had the new wrong turn for $9. How could I not pick that up? If you haven't seen the old wrong turns, the first couple are crazy and then they turn to trash. But this new wrong turn, which is like a remake retelling of what's going on, is really good and a lot different than what you might, what you might think. Uh, definitely glad I have this in my collection now. For you uh, Stranger Things fans, uh, Matthew Modine is in here in a pretty prominent role. Charlotte Vega, I don't know too much about her, but she does excellent in her role here. This has got a lot of high tension, some super brutality. I like the, the change of the story that they're not like mutant freaks. They're just like crazy mountain men. The brutality here gets freaking serious. Some of the uh, visuals of the forest and stuff they be going in looks really good too. The director did an excellent job here. Don't see too much for special features here though. Uh, hopefully there's a making of or... Oh, okay, I see right here. They're trying to hide it from me. So there is some stuff going on here. Oh, well that's neat. That is like one of the craziest, ugliest colors of cream green I have seen in a long time and I freaking love it. It's just these little touches that just made me appreciate that they went the extra mile to make my Blu-ray look cooler than the norm, but I, I talk about that all the time. Anyways, I this movie's been out for a while. I don't know who's seen it and who's not. Let us know who peeped that code, please, so that, you know, it's just courteous. And uh, let me know what you thought about the movie or what I should be watching instead. So, I thought this movie was super fun, uh, pretty brutal, uh, worthy retelling of the story, and uh, definitely check out Wrong Turn. Last and certainly not least, we have a 90s freaking classic man's best friend, Ali Sheedy, in the best role she ever had, Lance Henriksen and this freaking crazy dog, uh, starring a crazy, like, government experiment, lab experiment, science gone wrong, masterpiece about a freaking Rottweiler who, like, gets genetically experimented on to get, like, other aspects of different animals like cheetahs and like it, it gets freaking crazy and uh, he ends up getting freed from the lab that he's in and a, a person takes him home and then there's you know there's consequences for that but this movie is ridiculous there was a whole slew of different kinds of animal movies in the 90s you had like good family movies like Beethoven and uh Turner and Hooch and crap like that, but then you had these when animals go wrong type films like Man's Best Friend and some of the others. Frickin' Shout Factory, you know that they they're rich because of me. Just remember that. When all you other guys are buying Blu-rays out there, just remember that Shout Factory. I should I should own a stake in them because I'd be buying all their Blu-rays. Uh, always comes with some dope special features. Hopefully there's a... I haven't really looked, but hopefully they be talking to Lance Henriksen or something like that. Uh, there's a new scan, so I can't wait to see how that looks. This movie... Oh, nice. It's freaking 
like uh, extreme in some of the scenes of animal cruelty and just the the nature of some of the things that happen. So if you're very squeamish towards van violence towards animals, this might not be the one for you. But um, even though there's a lot of bleakness and this movie's freaking brutal, they do at least give you an optimistic uh, outcome, which I always liked about that. I think they have the original cover here with like Lance Henriksen with the gun. Oh yeah! That's that classic cover when that stuff was on home video. You see that craziness that's about the enhancements to the dog. Lance Henriksen's the one doing the enhancements. Uh, this movie is freaking ridiculous. Uh, a great look into the mindset and the kind of films that were going out in the 90s. Oh, come on. I wish there was some way I could just psychically pick them up and put them down. Anyways, this is one hell of a movie. Has some good music going on with it. Lance Henriksen in a spectacular alley. She's decent in her role. Uh, really fun little horror movie. If you're into like that animals attack stuff, you'll definitely like Man's Best Friend. Well, episode 41 is done. Man's Best Friend. Wrong turn. Happy birthday to me and Evil Spawn. Let me know what Blu-rays you guys are looking forward to uh, getting. There's a couple of crazy ones coming out in July that I've already got pre-ordered. I got a couple of other ones on the shelf that'll be coming up. Uh, we're coming up on episode 50 here pretty soon and we're going to do something pretty spectacular for that. So uh, if you enjoy that, make sure that you're subscribed with notifications so that you know when episode 50 drops. Anyway, for Rod of Peace Productions, I'm your boy, Jimmy P. Buy more Blu-rays.